Nate. I'm Jeremiah. How are you? Just nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to hey. meet you. How are you? Hey, how are you? Hi, Teddy. Jeremiah. Nice, nice, nice to meet you, Teddy. Teddy. Alex. <gasps> Congratulations, you bought a house and you moved to the Burbs. <laughs> yeah. Never in a million years thought that would happen, but uh, it's been going really well. We're, we love it. Really? It's been so, great for all of us. That's so, so awesome. Yeah. So this is a great house. Give yeah. us the tour. We love the natural light. That yeah. was huge for us. Yep. Um, but at the same time, I don't know, it doesn't quite feel like our space. Okay. Why not? The sellers of the home, they were an older couple who was relocating and they said, you know, whatever's in the house that you want to keep, just let us know and you can have whatever you like. You know, that was a really nice gesture of them, but they were yes. probably psyched that they didn't have to put it on a truck to Arizona or wherever they yeah. were at. <laughs> They have some nice stuff. I just don't know how to make it work with our stuff. Right now, it's just very disjointed, like puzzle pieces that aren't quite fitting together. Well, that's the funny thing about, you know, moving somewhere, wanting to start your own story, and then also having uh, things that used to be other people's in yeah. your story and kind of figuring out your yeah. own narrative with those. Yeah. I love the railing on oh. your yeah, staircase. That's cool. <laughs> she said you could say that. That's really? Is that a good? Yeah. Oh, look at us. <laughs> Like, so you guys have a little mid-century, yeah. you lean towards that a yeah. little bit. I think this is for flowers. Yeah, These are for flower pots. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That was like no a, such a 1950s. Think of like, I love Lucy. Yeah. Like, silhouette is you know, so handsome. I, yeah, it's cool. When we walked into the house, that was the first thing that caught my eye. I was like, that is it's really cool. It's really um, cool. We love the mid-century style look and feel. Cool. That, that's definitely our style. Like, yeah. Okay. And is this your main dining area? Can we go yes. check this yeah, out? Yeah, let's check that out. So this table uh, was inherited from the sellers, okay. and it's great, but as you can see, we don't sit at it, really. Uh, it's more as a workstation, a come in from school, put the backpacks down, yeah. put your jackets there, just because we don't really have the space. Got it. You guys right don't have any storage in here. No. No. It's funny, you know, a Even space in your this kitchen, large, you don't yeah. have a lot of storage. No. No, it, that right there this is, is our pantry. It. Yeah, this is wow. our pantry. Wow. Yes. This is it. You thought you were leaving New York. I know, I, I was know. just gonna say, like, does this feel, does that feel different than Brooklyn? Or does no. it? No, that, especially the kitchen, that was one of the big things, is like, I still feel like we're in an apartment when yeah. we're in this kitchen, because we love to cook, but we can't do it together, because right. we're bumping into each of other course. all the time. Yeah. It still feels like an apartment kitchen. And the cabinet behind you, you know, it serves a purpose in terms of storage for those glasses, but yeah. again, like, that's a lot of space that doesn't really get used. Well, there's like a lot of underutilized space, especially yes. over here. Yeah. Well, this space doesn't feel comfortable. It feels like no. a hallway yeah, between yeah. the kitchen and the, the living room. I mean. Yeah. I, I want there to be an easy walkway. Yeah, through, that but makes sense. You want to be able to get in and out of the kitchen? What's wrong now? I know. <laughs> These new homeowners are so You've demanding. You've gone too far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the clutter is still there. There's nowhere to put anything away. They feel like they made this move and this massive investment, and they're living worse than they were when they were living in their apartment well, listen, in Brooklyn. They bought this really great home, but it's not laid out properly for the family. The other dangerous thing. Being a parent, <laughs> especially. It's just, oh, it's right oh, here. Oh, so it starts oh, to actually yeah. kick out. No! Again. <laughs> great. Yeah. I hope the fire department's watching, actually. No, this that, is like, a, this is I mean, like my big concern. I don't blame you. Half yes. my runs in Manhattan are, are gas, gas leaks. And this would definitely cause a problem. Oh, yeah. Stressing me out. Okay. Yeah. The irony that a firefighter bought this house is staggering. All right, so we have to introduce some storage. We need to readdress the living room, actually create a dining room for you. The kitchen needs to be completely rethought out. Yeah, this yeah. is not good. Okay, have you guys thought about what you had to put into the renovation cost-wise? Well, we've got $100,000. Okay. I'm very excited about Alex and Teddy. So am I. We're doing color again. I don't know who we are. <laughs> We're his voice. Know who you are. You know what happened? I used to be cool. cool. Yeah. Well, now you're a dad. Listen. That's not what happened. These are the inspiration picks we landed on after talking to Alex and Teddy. He is a fireman, so I feel like it's kind of a cute reference to bring in like a brick red for him. I love that. The main thing that we've got to solve for them, Jer, is that because there's so little storage in the entire home, yeah. they feel like they're still in this cramped kind of city environment. And the worst offender is that kitchen. Replacing that fire hazard of a door with an oversized window will help with the flow. 
will double the size of their kitchen with a super long stretch of open shelving and lower cabinetry taking over that area that had become a catch-all. The only thing that I'm worried about with open shelving with a family with a kid is that they need room for like sippy cups. They need something at eye level for drinking glasses and things like that, something. But I don't want to do that because I have an idea about it. I, I want like a pretty impactful visually. I didn't show you this yet, but let me just show you. You had talked about wanting to bring in some deep reds and we had talked about this color. Yeah, I think this is amazing. This idea is for the other side of the kitchen. So you're saying like the hood or the... The hood and that whole wall with open shelving flanking the hood. But like, can you imagine visually all yeah, but that I'm, beautiful I, Here's the thing, we cannot do a kitchen for a young family that has their main issue is storage and have open shelving on one whole side of the kitchen and open shelving on the other side. I think that's a mistake. But instead, I think we should bump the hood and stove over and make room for at least one upper cabinet beside the fridge. That fire engine red is still gonna be impactful. Let's discuss it, but like we can- Okay, we can... well let's move on from that. We've gotta figure out this living room. Closing up the niches will make room for floor to ceiling built-in storage, including a spot for their TV. We'll source a mid-century inspired sectional for hangouts and a comfy reading corner for downtime. Cabinets aside, the light oak floors are going down throughout. They'll give Alex and Teddy the light, bright, and unified feel they want for the space. As will the oversized window that's replacing the fire hazard of a door. The cabinets, including the full height pantry, will take care of the clutter issue in the kitchen. while a massive closet will give Alex and Teddy the storage they were missing in the bedroom. But we still need to finalize the plan for how to work in some of their belongings into the design. All right, first uh, things first, Alex and Teddy. Alex and Teddy yeah. world, I love this world. It's contemporary, but mid-century inspired. Look at this lamp. That's so cool. This is Teddy's chair. He's loved it. It's the first thing that he's ever bought. I mean, I'll give it to them. The comfort level is through the roof. Okay, here's the thing though. I pulled the following fabrics because it's obviously super beat up, so I want to make sure that this looks fresh and beautiful for them. That doesn't look fresh. It looks Option like the same thing. One. Some brown to brown. I'm out. Two. Velvet. Cotton velvet. Can I ask you a question? Are we bringing an alternative in this floor plan that we can like play around with and say like, you could have this or you could have a different option? Because I 100%. think- 100%. Okay, I think we should. Okay. Or ivory. Ivory for in that it. family with kids and in and out. All right, my other question is this, which I actually think is really handsome. It's yeah, like I a prefer, mat. I prefer this one. This cool. feels mid-century. All right. I love these pieces. I like the little knobs. I think it's so handsome. Yeah, the scale is amazing. I don't love the blue, so a couple of options. But you can see right here, Nate. I mean, if we were to strip this down, you can see how pretty the wood is underneath. Like, if we stain it in walnut, like, how handsome would that be? These nightstands are great. They're amazing. They're the previous owners, but by refinishing them, giving them a whole new life, we're gonna make them an entirely different piece that's gonna be part of Alex and Teddy's story. And that's the rhythm that we like about pieces that people decide to keep. The restored dresser and nightstands will give Alex and Teddy's bedroom some of the mid-century style they love. while the chair, which has comforted them through some tough times, is being reworked. Reupholstering a chair is not as expensive as it used to be. Alex and Teddy obviously love this recliner. It means a lot to them. So we want to honor that story and try to find a way to make it work in the new design scheme. How are you, boss? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice weather we have. I know, right? We finally got some bright light in this space. Look at the light in here. This, and it's starting to look like a house. I know. Look at all of this storage that they have now. Well, I think taking this door out gave us the space to create this galley. More importantly, look how beautiful this is going to be. Do you like that? I do. Yeah. yeah. And then look at it with the actual marble, how pretty that is. 
Alex and Teddy don't have a coat closet. Their kids' shoes are all over the floor. Their things are all over the place. So I'm proposing that we create an area that becomes a coat closet in the custom built-ins in the family room. Right now we have the bar on this side. Yes. The TV inset. So we could do something on the other side. If we make the far left section with a rod and with, you know, something they can put their shoes on the bottom, I think then the family has a place that they naturally put their stuff. Okay. I was just gonna ceiling. ask what's going on with the ceiling. We're yeah. doing the paneling still in here, right? We're doing the wood. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I do have samples. Beautiful. I, I mean, I, I'm really excited about this element. I don't know what color it's gonna be. I'm gonna say I'm a little bit nervous about, normally my, in, my gut would be just to paint it white and call it a day, but we are not doing a farmhouse. So I think we just have to make sure that we get the stain right with, with you. Okay. Um, which is easy. Know. But I think the texture on the ceiling is gonna be pretty, plus it's gonna kind of be cohesive with a lot of the other parts of the room, the house. Yeah. When we started, Alex felt like she was living in someone else's house. Our hope is that by adding personality through sleek marble countertops, a fire engine red backsplash, and a wood clad ceiling, it will finally start to feel like theirs. I want it to be right. I want, you know, this is a big deal to hand over your money to two people and to say, please dream a bigger dream for me than I knew was possible. Yeah, but we've, we've got it. Like, this is what know, we do. We're gonna do, we're, of course we're gonna do right by them. I still feel pressure about it every day. You ready? Uh-huh. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. I can't. I just, I. This is blowing my mind. This is <laughs> yeah. like. Right, I'm coming in for a hug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is like better than I could have even imagined. Yeah. Thank you so much. God. You're so welcome. One thing that I just want to show you guys because I'm very excited about, this is your coat closet now for yeah. when you come in. Oh, okay. So you've got all of this for storage, your shoes oh, you can throw so in. So perfect. So by closing up those holes that mm -hmm. led yeah. into, you know, Tatum's playroom, yeah. we were able to go vertically. This was the only way for us to get you floor to ceiling storage and still keep something beautiful and decorative for you guys to enjoy. Yeah. And you've got a bar over here. Yeah, did you see this? With the, the same, same stone. slab as the kitchen. Oh, wow. This is amazing, you guys. So beautiful. You left the city and you moved to the suburbs and you had this dream for yourself about mm. this new place and Tatum's adventure. And then somehow this house just started falling so short for you guys on every level. There is noticeably one thing that's not in the room. That's right. Which is the recliner. Yes. We still have it. Okay. We reworked it. Okay. okay. Um, and we've incorporated it somewhere else, which we'll show you. We still gave you the opportunity to recline when needed. Yes. On a brand new, beautiful sectional. It's yeah. amazing. It was just a house before. It was a place where we were living. Mm-hmm. This finally feels like home. This feels really nice. Well, look at your little flower pot. Did you guys see? How cute. It's so right cute. Away. That was the first thing. Hey, guys, come look at your new kitchen. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, my look? gosh. I had a vision in my head, but this is I, beyond belief. This is just This is incredible. stunningly beautiful, you guys. Look at your new tile and the hook. Oh, my <laughs> The nice red, the fire engine red. Exactly, mid-century, very mid -century. in honor of you. And you have so much storage in here, guys. You have acres it's, and acres of cabinets. Like, I, I can't even. It's... Well, look at this whole back counter now. Yeah. You've yeah. got wall to wall. I know. You've got a full pantry here now. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I didn't. You never had a place for family meals. It was no. TV no. trays. No. And we, we just, you know, you're so close as a family. Mm -hmm. and you've been through so much that, you know, just to be able to gather around a round table, and a round table really promotes intimacy, it promotes connection. It's so beautiful, you guys, and it feels like us, and it feels like home now.